Kore Tefano. Well, this is Susie and her daughter Georgia Ray, and right now we're in Karitane on the banks of the Waikoaiti Awa. Beautiful location. New people are locals that have interactions with Pakake. Yeah. Um, and we've seen a few already, and that's something to really think about, isn't it? When you are coming into the environment of these beautiful creatures and and having these interactions there's some things to consider but you've got some really good examples of your own interactions with pakake yeah Susie. well um sometimes we're we're out on our water and we're in our waka we might be having our waka ama out or our waka unua and we're sailing and we're lucky enough that they come to see us we're not here to see them and sometimes we don't even know that they're in the water and they are so curious mm. and they just want to interact and they want to show us their tricks. They're very fast and so it encourages us to go faster in our waka and we'll go, oh look at it, it's jumping up, it's trying to engage with us. But the important thing is not to go into their space, it's their place, it's their water and let them gauge how we interact. Yeah, not trying to get in their, their space and, and alter their behaviour too much. Yeah, we yep. respect their space and if we're on if we see that they're on the beach, well we won't land right where they are because they're resting. Yep. So um, we'll stay in the water and the faster we go, the faster they chase us. And when we take our waka in and we put it on the ramp, we don't engage. Because they're wild animals, they're not they're not pets. So we just leave them to do their thing and they actually leave us to do our thing as yeah. well. Well they are wild animals and they're big animals and George Ray, you've been on the water surfing and under the water diving and have had some quite interesting experiences with Pakake. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, my first experience with a sea lion was out here on the bar when I was paddle boarding and it was just following along a couple metres behind me and I just, I was pretty keen to just go to the beach and get onto the safety of land. That was fine. The first time I ever um, was scuba diving out in the open ocean, I had a sea lion playing with me, mouthing my head, and I was 10 metres under the water. I just had to remain calm and I was in their environment, so what could I do really? And um, he just, he was just having a bit of fun really, and then well, it just made my way back into, up to the surface and onto land when I could. Sounds like a pretty full on experience. Has it put you off going back out into the water? No, I think, they just want to play, they're just like the dogs of the sea and if you're not threatening them they don't feel threatened by us. So just remaining calm and yeah, realising they're not there to hurt you. And speaking of kuri, you have one running around here somewhere, that's a really important thing to consider too. A lot of people with their dogs on the beach, what's the advice for dog owners around pakake? Um, so keep them on a lead and yeah. remain at a good distance away from the... Yeah, it's that yeah. 10 metre rule, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. nama hinui kia kōra, fascinating stories and um, more lessons learned about our interactions with these amazing animals, really, the pakake and their natural environment. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora.